Hello everyone, how is everyone? I hope everyone is good. So let's start my story. Hey, when are you finishing your PhD? Well, my contract expires in nine months. So I don't think I will be able to finish my PhD before that. Are you still here? So do you have any backup strategy? So the only way to finish my PhD and not fail it is if I go back to India and uh, try to finish my PhD because my residence permit is tied to my contract. So if my residence permit contract expires, then my residence permit also expires. So the only way is that without financial support, I need to continue as an external PhD when I- Oh continue. no, what? So currently I am in my last year of my PhD and let me tell you quickly what happened with my PhD in my last year. So this is the time, as you know, that COVID struck. So different categories of people were affected in different ways. So before that, let me introduce myself. I'm Sambit Praraj. I, I have this channel, Sambit PhD, where I make videos about studying and living in Netherlands and Europe and share my experiences through interviews and my own experience. I have been living in Netherlands for more than five years and my PhD is already more than three years. To give you a context, normally PhD in Netherlands is of a duration of four years and you need to complete it within that four years and you get a job contract phd is like a job because you have a job contract so you get a monthly salary through which you can finance yourself so you are not a student actually but you are more like a employee similarly my phd also had a contract which was going to expire in 31st august 2021 so roughly in like nine months it's going to expire so so in the ideal case, I should have finished my PhD by the end of 21st, 2021, August. Uh, and I should have also written my thesis and also done my PhD defense. But then everything turned upside down when COVID struck. So my PhD, just to give you a context, research is in short to detect the quality of collaboration when people are working in groups, mostly in a face-to-face -face setting like that of the classrooms when students work in group assignments and then give some kind of real-time feedback so that we can support or facilitate the collaboration, the group work. So as you can see, my entire research is dependent on collecting data from live classrooms. So when COVID struck, as you all might know that all these classrooms started moving to online setting. So all the doors that were open to for me for data collection were closed. It created a situation of desperation and anxiety. And I was thinking like, what can I do if I can't collect data from the classroom? So because of that, I decided with my supervision team that we will kind of uh, adapt and reset my experiment so that the prototype which is currently functioning for data collection in a face-to-face -face setting can also be used in an online setting. So we worked towards that and that caused like a delay of roughly four to six months because of which I was in the beginning, I mentioned that I was not sure if I'll be able to finish my PhD on time. So the main question that came to me that I also discussed with my supervisors is like, can I get a PhD contract extension I have heard people get it under some circumstances like this, which is kind of exceptional. And I did not have any control to like kind of control this situation. So finally, along with my supervision team, we applied for a contract extension of six months in the month of September, hoping that that will be granted. Although I was not sure whether I will get it approved so what ideally it means is that because you get a salary so if your contract is extended for six more months then you can get salary for the six months and support yourself financially by living here paying the rent food and everything and also finish your phd so it would have been a very good scenario 
So if that had been granted, then I would have got like till Feb end of February 2022 to finish my PhD, which I think based on the current analysis, what the position I'm in now, uh, I would have easily completed it. That's what I can assess myself. That's how I can assess myself. The main problem with this contract being expired, which was going to expire in August, end of August 2021, is that if I don't finish my PhD, then I also have to leave Netherlands because here you get an employment contract. So your contract duration is tied to your residence permit. So as my contract was expiring, so my residence permit was also expiring at the end of August. So it was kind of a helpless situation where things are not under my control. So I tried my best what I can because we are just waiting for the contract extension. At the same time, in the meantime, I thought like, why not apply for the integration exam? Because I have already stayed for more than five years. So if I apply for the integration exam and if I pass the integration exam, then I can apply for the permanent residence. And the good thing about permanent residence is that even though your contract is not valid, you can still legally stay in Netherlands because PR gives you a license to stay for five years. And then after five years, you again, they again renew your permanent residence. So even if you don't have a job, you can stay in Netherlands if you have a PR. You don't need to depend to have a legal job to stay here. So that was a tough time because I have already a load of work on the PhD apart from my pending submissions, revisions and I also had to uh, kind of prepare for the Dutch exam because my Dutch level was not that good. Okay, so to cut short to the present day, uh, today is 28th of November 2020. Uh, yesterday afternoon, which was like less than 24 hours, I got the good news. So what is the good news? You might have already guessed it if you have watched the previous part of the video. So finally, the six months extension that we had been longing for the last three months was granted. And that kind of gave me a something to hold on to, like a kind of a confidence so that we can plan accordingly. My supervisor was also relieved that we can plan the experiments accordingly. I have like roughly till the end of February 2022 to finish my PhD. So ideally in that case, I should plan something like in a year, maybe next year, November, I should have a version of my thesis already complete and submitted to the committee, uh, which is like the PhD committee who evaluates your thesis. And then you have your defense, maybe somewhere in 2022, if everything else goes okay, which I hope. And I'm very grateful to, the, to my supervision team, to the university for granting this uh, six months extension because of which I can also support myself financially because I'll get a monthly salary like I used to get in this four year contract even for those six months and apart from that my contract is also going to be extended so my perm residence permit is also going to be extended so in a way it is a very good news uh, just before the finishing of the December holidays so that I can keep my mind everything together that that is also the reason I was not able to post that many videos because I'm really busy and I'm also doing a lot of things together and thank you all of you for supporting this channel if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button share this video help each other out share this story so that people know what happens when these kind of exceptional circumstances come in during a PhD or any profession and don't forget to subscribe this video to this channel and uh, yeah I hope see you in upcoming vlogs. Till then, goodbye from Netherlands. Peace.